Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Friday, November the 11th. It's the 25th week after Pentecost and week 5 in the Psalm Cycle. And today is Veterans Day and Remembrance Day. The scripture for this service, Psalm 91, and Joel chapter 2, verse 28, to chapter 3, verse 8. Please join me in singing the third verse of Psalm 66, part 2, by Isaac Watts, to the tune of New Britain. When on my head huge sorrows fell, I sought your heavenly aid. You saved my sinking soul from hell and death's eternal shade. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, if you dwell in the shelter of the Most High, you shall live in the shadow of the Almighty. Hallelujah, Psalm 91. And please recite it with me. Hallelujah, if you dwell in the shelter of the Most High, you shall live in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of God Most High, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. And surely God will deliver you from the snare of the fowler. God will cover you, and under God's wings shall you find refuge. God's truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the plague that walks in the darkness, nor the sickness that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand. But it shall not come near you. With your eyes you shall behold, and see the punishment of the wicked. Because you have made God Most High your refuge, the Most High your stronghold, no evil shall befall you, neither shall any plague come near. For God shall give the angels charge over you to keep you safe wherever you go. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon. You shall trample underfoot, because you love me, therefore I will deliver you. I will set you on high, because you have known my name. You shall call upon me, and I will answer. I will be with you in trouble, and I will deliver you and honor you. With long life will I satisfy you and show you my salvation. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, if you dwell in the shelter of the Most High, you shall live in the shadow of the Almighty. Hallelujah. A reading from the prophet Joel, chapter 2, beginning at verse 28. Then afterward, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. Even on the male and female slaves in those days, I will pour out my spirit. I will show portents in the heavens and on the earth, blood and fire and columns of smoke. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the great and terrible day of the Most High comes. And then everyone who calls on the name of Yahweh shall be saved, for in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem, there shall be those who escape, as the Most High has said, and among the survivors shall be those whom the Most High calls. For then in those days and at that time, 
when I restore the fortunes of Judah and Jerusalem. I will gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat, and I will enter into my judgment with them there on account of my people and my heritage, Israel, because they have scattered them among the nations. They have divided my land and cast lots for my people and traded boys for prostitutes and sold girls for wine and drunk it down. What are you to me, O Tyre and Sidon, and all the regions of Philistia? Are you paying me back for something? Are you paying me back? I will turn your deeds back upon your own heads swiftly and speedily. For you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried my rich treasures into your temples. You have sold the people of Judah and Jerusalem to the Greeks, removing them far from their own border. But now I will rouse them to leave the places to which you have sold them and I will turn your deeds back upon your own heads. I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the people of Judah, and they will sell them to the Sabians, to a nation far away, for the Most High has spoken. Here ends the lesson. And now let us pray in the words our Savior taught us. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Almighty God, we commend to your gracious care and keeping all the men and the women of our armed forces, at home and abroad, and retired and deceased. Defend them day by day with your heavenly grace. Strengthen them in their trials and temptations. Give them courage to face the perils which beset them, and grant them a sense of your abiding presence wherever they may be. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.